Welcome to another Field of Glory 2 battle. In this match, part of the Chaos Tourney, so random armies with no date or geographical filters. I have the Saber Huns against Snookies, Syria or Iraq Arabs. So that should be interesting. Uh, let's see here. His army for light infantry, three units of archers, or and or three units of massed archers. For heavy foot, there are raw Muslim spearmen, so cheap defensive spears, worth the cost. Muslim spearmen, 36 point defensive spears. And that's it for heavies. Otherwise, he's got a solid medium foot wing, cheap Bedouin foot, light spear swords, Dailami impact foot, veteran Dailami foot, and potentially an enormous swarm of Lancer Cavalry, which is kind of bad news because my army mostly has mounted archers. Now, one option I could consider that I generally wouldn't consider is that these Fierce Nomad Light Horse Archers can uh, dismount as um, bowmen with bow and sword. But there are only 240 man units, so it would be kind of risky, especially as they lack an impact capability. I'll consider it though, uh, just because I'm not sure if uh, evading around getting charged is necessarily going to be great either. Lots of rough ground. That's a little bit unfortunate because my infantry are close order warbands. Um, I will get them anyway because I will need something solid to form up on, but it's not the best. Okay, we get Lancers of our own and we will be fielding them. Like so. Even his light horse have Lances, that's tough. Yeah, as much as I'm tempted to dismount my horse archers and have them shoot, I don't think it's worth it. Okay, so screw the armored horse archers. I don't want to pay for armor. So the only question now is do I want more light horse archers or just go all in on the non-lights? I might want some more lights, although... Ugh. Fierce Nomad Light Horse Archer Superior, cool. 48 points, not cool, never mind. Screw that, we're just gonna get more of the regular old mounted archers. Except, what have we got for command groups? One, two, three, and then the infantry. The only change I would make to that is add you to that command group. I guess that's the commander in chief. Um, something like that ish. Okay, so let's see what kind of army he brings to the field. I'm kind of scared, I'm not too used to using this kind of force. Next turn. All right, what do we got? Yeah, the. Uh, Horde of Lancers, I was afraid of. At least our infantry is actually somehow superior. So we can drive them forward first. Draw our lights into a range of our non lights. We'll try to keep our mounted archers behind the infantry support. It's a lot of lights. Do you have our own Lancers? We're going to need them. They are better than the Lancers he brought to the front, but the question is, can I use them without getting flanked or shot first? Next turn.
I believe these Bedouin Cavalry are 36 points. Very affordable. <laughs> yeah, I, I don't think this is going to go well. Not even a little bit. Damn it. Held firm. Okay. Gonna have to just take an armored fist through his left, maybe. I can't even win on impact head on against this light horse. It's gonna be dicey. Next turn. Yeah, that wasn't going to go well. Zoning in my infantry. But at least I can shoot back. Straight downhill. Good. Well, let's see. Um, charge. Good. Good. Held firm. Okay, then what? So we push with the infantry. Pretty heavy casualties. We'll hide. Can we hide in the forest? No, we can't quite reach it. Okay. General up here. Hide in the rough, and then we can start shooting next turn. Meantime, we have swordsman POA. So next turn we can flank. Uh, lock in these mounted archers and just take the arrows and prepare to hmm, that opens us up to flanking that seems a bit better now I could charge but what's the point they're just gonna fall back out of range if I stay here and they can either fall back and take a check or get shot at to a frag and then I charge next turn irritating.
this. Come on, catch them. Perfect. Hopefully we can come back to the fight soon. Do I even care about this anymore? Not especially. Let's prepare to finish off this unit. Charge in here so we can't get shot at anymore. Good. Uh, bad. Maybe necessary though. Huh. Go for a break. Perfect. Uh, we're going to have a gap open up there. Have to just risk it. Good. Block them off. That frees up this unit at least to maneuver. Okay. Next turn. He's probably doing just charge there. I guess he has the arrows to spend. Yep. There we go. Okay, well, I'll take that. Held firm. This unit's disordered. Lock it in there. bad is that? Pretty damn bad. Oh, especially with disruption. Now we're going to get flanked. Hmm. Okay, we don't need that flank charge. We need more cavalry over here. Oh, how unlucky. Where's some off map? That's fine. Held firm. I think this is going to start going downhill next turn as we get flanked and flanked. Next turn. Well, that's not very helpful. Uh, 
Do we break? If we hold out... Good. Might have a chance. Yeah... Well, we didn't double drop, so we don't spread panic. Yo... Yet... It's not all bad news, but there's a lot of bad news. Good, at least we secured that break before we get flanked again next turn. <sighs> Impact charge into the archers. Yeah. Good. But then we frag. Damn. I could attempt to charge. Uh, I might have to. Should have done that. For, oh, didn't matter. Okay. Do that? Yeah. They might frag on impact, and if they don't, they're still disrupted. Good. Excellent. Yeah, they may be horse archers, but they are superior quality. Do that. Then next turn we'll flank them. Ooh, is that probably disrupt? Can I charge? Not close enough. Damn it. Are we gonna win that anyway? Probably. If I do this. Uh, they won't turn to face me until the next melee phase. That works out anyway, though, to be honest. Okay, in that case, you know what? It's worth getting disrupted. I was hoping for a break. This I'm afraid of. These units might just shatter. Next turn! Okay, so first we lose this unit, right? Good. Oh, delightful, we held firm. Surprising. Okay, I'm just confused at this point, to be honest. Um, God, this is so annoying. I can't do anything about these light cavalry. I can't even really ignore them, but I guess I have to try. Go for a break here. Good. Uh, 
That was a risk and it did pay off. Okay, next up, let's flank attack. Having done so, get an automatic cohesion drop. It's a break. What does that do for us here? Held firm. Okay. Let's charge here, and if we're lucky... No, damn it. Probably break here. Yeah. Back towards the main battle. Flanked us like cavalry. Shoot. Held firm. Okay, so that puts us at exactly a 25% lead. So if he doesn't rally up here, we'll win before more terrible things can happen. Okay, and we have reached the end. Wow, some nice rallies, just not on the right units. Okay. So, I do have to point out that had this frag unit broken, uh, things could have dragged out. Probably not turned around, but it's conceivable. You know, a few large infantry units are a healthy route percent. Uh, and I do wonder, maybe I would have been better off simply bringing more Fierce Nomad Horse Archers. They fared better in melee than I thought they would because of their quality, uh, superior. Although, mm, they probably would have evaded and been caught in the rear even so, so maybe the infantry is a good idea. Hard to say. Uh, I do wish that I brought more light cavalry, so things like this hadn't happened, where I had a nice unit doing absolutely nothing the entire game. Otherwise, you know, I, I think I was too afraid of these masked archers. I think horse archers would have done fine at dealing with them because they are unarmored and packed together and they get that close range malice against non light enemy troops who have melee capability, which the fierce nomad horse archers certainly do have as swordsmen. So maybe I should have brought like three warbands and replaced two of them with additional fierce nomad horse archers. But. It worked out in the end. So, a good game to Snooky, and till next time.